let's look at some properties of complex numbers how do we how do we graph it let uh, let's say we want to plot uh, 2 plus 2i okay let's draw a graph coordinates now what would this be see normally in algebra we say this is x axis and this is y axis but here we are talking of complex numbers so this would be x plus 0 i okay and this would be 0 plus i y and the rest all is what we already know so let's say 1 2 1 2 so 2 comma 2 would be this okay let's let's uh, say this is 2 comma 2 see we don't have to write i because it is understood okay so now this is how we would plot a graph of 2 plus 2i okay now what are the properties that we might be interested in let's say distance from the origin so right it looks very similar to a if especially if i drop this line here looks like a right angled triangle and the moment we talk of right angled triangle what comes to mind pythagoras theorem yes now here this is the hypotenuse right this is the adjacent side and let's say this is a and this is b so which means our hypotenuse would be what a square plus b square yes a square plus b square and square root yes square root of a square plus b square would be the what what shall we call it now the distance from the origin we will call it the modulus of the complex number which is remember nothing but the distance from origin remember we have already been using it so in our previous example if our a complex number is 2 plus 2i then modulus of z is 2 square plus 2 square square root which is 4 plus 4 8 which is equal to 2 root 2 okay what else we already know it we have used it and that is the conjugate okay Con con conjugate of a complex number yes so conjugate is referred to as like this this is how we denote conjugate so can conjugate would be what a minus ib if z is equal to a plus ib then conjugate would be a minus ib if it is if a minus ib then remember conjugate would be what a minus minus ib yes which is equal to a plus I B. Now the sign in front of the real part is immaterial. So if it is plus, it remains as plus. If it is minus, it remains as minus. Okay, that is a conjugate. Now there is another very important uh, this one. Um, that is the multiplicative. Multiplicative inverse now what is this 
in algebra we have seen that say for example 4 plus 4 by 3 divided by 2 by s yes. so this division we convert it into multiplication and how do we do that we take the multiplicative inverse of 2 by 2 by 3 and that is nothing but 3 by 2 so the answer is 2 so here what does multiplicative inverse means you take a number come out with a number when you multiply these two you should get one right okay so let's see what is the multiplicative inverse of a plus ib now let's see for a plus i b complex number now how do we show how do we represent multiplicative inverse we say minus 1 to the power of minus 1 okay which is equal to we know it is 1 plus i b okay and in the denominator as far as possible we try to maintain a real number only right we don't want to have imaginary numbers in the denominator so to avoid that what do we do we multiply the whole thing by the conjugate by conjugate so a minus i b by a minus i b which is equal to what a minus i b by a square minus b square so b square i square so which is a minus i b by a square plus b square so which means that this can be written as a by a square plus b square plus minus b by a square plus b square so which means multiplicative inverse of a number of a complex number is a by a square plus b square plus minus b by a square plus b square let's do it for a complex number 2 plus 3i multiplicative inverse is see even if you don't remember this as a formula you can actually do the whole thing so a is 2, 2 square is 4, plus 3 square is 9, plus minus 3 by 4 plus 9, 2 by 13, minus 3 by 13, i, don't forget that, i, okay. So, we have seen what a conju conjugate is, conjugate of a complex number the modulus of the complex number and the multiplicative inverse okay now the uh, multiplicative inverse we can take it a little bit further so remember we have minus 1 equal to a by a square plus b square if you want to make it shorter b by a square plus b square let's combine them now a square plus b square a minus a minus b i now what is a minus b i a minus b i is the conjugate what is the symbol for conjugate or representation for conjugate is z bar divided by a square plus b square is modulus square remember square root is not there so it is actually z square is equal to a square plus b square so here since square root is not there that means it is modulus of z square 
so this is much more easier to remember okay let's do very quickly a few sums 8 minus 8i you have to find the modulus is equal to what this is square root of 8 square plus minus 8 square you need to be very careful with this so this is 64 plus 64 which is 8 12 128 2 6 2 4 2 3 2 2 3 2 16 2 8 2 4 2 2 yes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 so which means 2 times 2 times 2 root 2 which is what 8 root 2 okay you should remember 2 square 2 1 2 0 2 square 2 cube 2 4 2 5 2 6 2 7 2 8 2 9 2 10 right 2 to the power of 10 okay so 8 root 2 is the modulus now what about um, the conjugate conjugate is easy 8 plus 8i what about the multiplicative inverse yes conjugate keep writing the formula every time you solve so that by practice itself you remember it so modulus and here what square so this is what 8 plus 8i by modulus square modulus square is what 64 root 2 into root 2 is 2 so 128 now this you can simplify it 8 is common so take out 1 plus i by 128 8 ones are 8 4 remainder 48 6 8s are 48 so 1 plus i by 16 if you want take it one step further once by 16 plus i by 16 now this uh, multiplicative inverse can actually be helpful when we are doing division 10 plus 4 i divided by remember th this is kind of tricky thing right because of habit you might actually start solving this right but remember these two get cancelled so your answer is 1 plus 0i let's do uh, 2 plus 3i divided by 4 plus 7i right now how do we do this division remember this can be sp split up into 1 by 1 by 4 plus 7i that means multiplicative inverse of 4 plus 7i 3i now what is the formula for multiplicative inverse a by a square plus b square right a is 4 of the con okay let's actually write it as i said should make it as a habit is equal to a by a square plus b square plus minus b by a square plus b square so a is what 4 so 4 by 4 square plus 7 square 4 4 is a 16 plus 49 plus minus b so minus 7 by 16 plus 49 i 2 plus 3 i times 
फोर माइनस सेवन आई बाई नाइन प्लस सिक्स फिफ्टीन फाइव वन फोर प्लस वन फाइव प्लस वन सिक्स नाउ इट्स जस्ट ए क्वेश्चन ऑफ मल्टीप्लाई एट माइनस फोर्टीन आई प्लस ट्वेल्व आई माइनस ट्वेंटी वन आई स्क्वेर डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्सटी फाइव एट माइनस माइनस फोर्टीन माइनस ट्वेल्व माइनस फोर्टीन प्लस ट्वेल्व इज माइनस टू आई प्लस ट्वेंटी वन डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्सटी फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन प्लस एट इज ट्वेंटी नाइन माइनस टू आई बाई सिक्सटी फाइव राइट सो आवर डिविजन बिकम्स अ लिटिल बिट सिंपलर otherwise we will again take the conjugate we will go the the long about route so slightly longer procedure it will be involving okay i think that's enough for today bye for now